Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 67 and let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, Shadow and Realm are each close to leveling up, which is a good thing. Actually, I don't think Realm's magic needs to be up any higher. I would like to level up her MP, though. Who's got Fenrir anyway? Oh, Gao does. So I'll put that on Realm instead. Gao's magic could use a little boost, though. Let's put that on. Okay, we're good. We good. Let's continue. Oh, that's right. This place was a trap. Let's go to get up the stairs. I decided to put Locke in the front row this time. I felt he would benefit from it. Up oh, here's a new enemy, Mutsud. What makes these, this enemy very unique is that this is the only enemy for now. There might be another one in the bonus dungeon that I am not sure of that you can actually steal Thunder Shields from. Hmm, use Blaster on myself, eh? Why not? And it doesn't work. So I can basically just go around and try to steal a Thunder Shield. Having Realm around ain't so bad either. Try Snowstorm this time. Do some ice damage. Albeit very weak. And as far as the Thunder Shield goes, it's probably gonna take some time before I get it. Therefore, I'll just fight it off. Use an Ultima, gal. Probably have to take a look to see what Mutsuit's weakness is. Nice power. Eh, attack yourself. Oops, still alive. Not anymore. Oh, what? Huh. One more Ultima, gal. That should be enough. So these things do have a lot of HP, considering they're a pallet swap of a boss of Humbaba. I'm gonna use this Gigavolt. Eh, whatever. Still cannot get that Thunder Shield. I am disappointed. Eh, use Holy Realm. Might as well fire it off. I think Holy is this guy's weakness. Uh, let me check. Shadow and Realm gain a level, nice job! Alright, let's... Alright, some config. Duh. Alright, uh, let's see, let's see, where is it? Ah, there it is! Get a Thunder Shield, yep, we can gain Holy. Of course. Alright, let's just keep going. I'll probably get some more Thunder Shields on my own time. But, it don't have to be now. Alright, I suppose this is the right way. Don't need to go in there, because I already got the treasures. And now I gotta take on four Vector Lithos again. Now, Gal, you could use a little bit more Met. Nah, have you used Blizzaga? I think a boss is coming up, that gold dragon. I'll just get my magic there. I doubt the Vector Lithos will get a move. Considering it's got three powerful attacks coming. Jeez, nice job, Shadow. That water scroll. Gotta go through this little hallway, and there's the gold dragon. Damn it! Oh, here's a new enemy, Araman. You can use, like, stop and uh, silence to nullify them completely. That should take care of the threat. I'll probably have to stop each. Just to make sure they don't use, like, roulette or doom on ya. Because that's no good. Definitely don't want that being hit on ya. Yeah. 
Alright, then we'll just take care of the rest, do some shurikens, and probably an Ultima spell. Let's see if that's gonna be enough. And one more from Realm 2, for good measure. So far, I haven't even used Team 3 yet. Later on, I'll probably have to. Well, actually, I will have to, I just don't know when. Gee, still alive? I'll give them credit, they're very durable. The one-eyed freaks, wings. Uh, what should I use that's appropriate? Um, let's see, what could I use? Uh, probably use Marcosius, why not? Just because I feel like it. Hopefully these guys don't absorb wind. And they don't. Good. Yeah, I'll gain a level and so did Locke. Okay, let me take off the uh, Valiant Knife. So at this point, it's not serving me well yet. I already have, like, a nice bit of health. Therefore, the Valiant Knife is not going to do a lot of damage. Now, let's see what I got to equip. Paladin Shield is good. Let's see, do I have any more Thunder Shields? Uh, might be a good idea to get some more. Uh, I think we'll manage with what we got now. If you have more Thunder Shields, the better. Because we're taking on, well, a Gold Dragon. And Gold Dragon likes to use Thunder Attacks. A lot. Essentially, it's a Brontosaurus. Okay, let me use Osmos. In Shadow, you use... Hastiga. Realm, I'll have you use Flood, because it's weak against water. In Lock, uh, I don't think we'll be able to get anything from it, so use Hastiga. Basically, it's a very easy boss. I mean, considering how far we got in the game, they're throwing in an easy boss, and I'm very disappointed in that. So I'm gonna have Gao use Valor. Shadow, you use a Fuma Shuriken. Thunder spell? Are you serious, bro? A thunder spell. That's level one stuff! Come on now. Throwing in level one spells. Okay, Gigafold, that's pretty tough. The lock will absorb that with the Paladin Shield. Everyone else will be just fine. Lock, why don't you use your Ultima weapon with the Master Scroll? Do some heavy damage. If the Gold Dragon manages to survive this deluge of water. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't at all. Look at that, I got a lightsaber! Isn't that so cool? Yeah, if Locke had a lot more HP, like maybe around 4,000 or even 5,000, then he'd be, do he'd be doing a ton of damage. But he's not at that point yet. Unfortunately. So I'll have to make do with what we got. I mean, so far it works better than the Valiant Knife in terms of damage. And Valor has certainly helped, too. Got him! I could have used the Water Scroll, too, but Fuma Shurikens are quite powerful. So yeah, Party 2 managed to dispatch two bosses. That's not too bad at all. There's only one dragon remaining, and that's the Skull Dragon. Oh, we got a Crystal Orb! That actually gives you an increase in maximum of 50% MP. Kind of like the Muscle Belt, but with MP instead of HP. That's all it is. Oh, here's some new enemies! Demon Knight and Yojimbo. 
thing I hate about Yojimbo is that it can instant kill you after you beat it. The only way to take care of that is with Imp. Ah, look at that, he's so cute. I don't know, wait, he's ugly. Why don't you use a flame scroll? The thing about it now is that since Yojimbo is an Imp, it will do automatic criticals. But that's not a serious issue, because the criticals are not as powerful as, say, Eye for an Eye, which instant kills you. You're taking care of the instant kills, which is a good thing. If you were that worried about damage, well, you can always just use Vanish. Nothing is stopping you in this fight. And Demon Knight, even though it looks pretty cool, isn't that great? It basically just uses Crypt Dust, which turns anyone that's knocked out into a zombie. And if everybody's still standing, what do you gotta worry about? Yeah, an easy fight again. Okay, now we're in this basic room. Okay, in this area, all three parties are going to converge at a central point. So let's put Lock over here. Now we can let Party 3 go to work. Get everybody equipped properly. We're sent at Sukin. Um, I don't want to go with Ice Shield or Flame Shield due to the possibility of hitting hit by weakness. Probably use a Force Shield. And Sauce. Well, not Saucer. Go with Golden Helm and Genji Armor. You, you go with the Fixed Dice. Then you say... I suppose I'll put the Ice Shield on you. Crystal Helm and Genji Armor. As for Mug, we'll put on the Partisan. Ice Shield. Golden Helm and Snow Scarf. Let's see about relics. Uh, put on a ribbon. What else? Uh, Gale hairpin, I suppose. No, not Gale hairpin. Put on a Gigas glove. No, a black belt. As for counters. Uh, let's see. Probably Dragoon boots from Mog. And... Amulet, perhaps? Should have thought of this sooner, but oh well. Too late now. Earring, and hang on, let me go back to Locke's team. So I'm gonna take the Master Scroll off. That's the thing that gets very annoying because of all this preparation. I mean, you had to keep swapping your best stuff to your three teams. Sometimes you may not have enough for all three. If that's an issue, you can always just leave, come back, and take it from there. What? I'll write the Master Scroll, of course. You know, I never even bothered to put the Soul of the Mass on anyone, because at this point, I don't really need it. Probably later on when we get to the tougher bosses of this dungeon, then I will consider using it. I don't think I'm gonna, like, put the Malulu's Charm on yet. I will eventually. I feel that we need to get stronger. I mean, want to avoid battles. I feel we're strong enough. I probably have to go this way. Okay, off footage after the battle, I decided to have Locke's team go back to the room with the mood suits to get a couple more thunder shields. That's for Celeste's team. Also, when I was there, I ran to a couple new enemies. This one is called the Mover, which you can steal a Super Ball from if you really care to use it. Only has 120 HP, but very high evasion. Therefore, you would have to use Meteor or Ultima to dispatch it. And, well, I think that's pretty much the only new... Oh, wait, there was Junk that I fought. Usually, it'll use Transfusion or Self-Destruct. In other words, you're likely going to take 2,000 damage instantly if you're not fast enough. That said, now that we got some more Thunder Shields, let's continue. Uh, Sign, you can go to the front row. I suppose you've earned it. 
there. Now let's continue. This time with party three. Okay, we don't need to get any treasures here, which is a good thing. Oh, here's a new enemy. This is Fortis. Be careful with these guys. They are very powerful machines. Hopefully we can get the best results with these. That's it, Setzer. Do a lot of damage to one of them, at least. There, that's one. You have to be careful if you use electric attacks on Fortis, because watch what happens when you do. Well, it probably won't happen now, because we use stop. I believe thunder is the weakness against Fortis, or probably water. If you use stop on it, it'll pro you won't have to worry about any counters. Hit it with a thunder attack while it's still moving, then you will face a counter of a physical attack. At least I think it's the Fortis, but or the other metal walker device thing. Well, machine, let's put it that way. We gain lightning and water. There's another one called dual armor. We'll probably run into that later. Anyways, before I ramble on. Let's just continue. Oh, go to save point. You know, I haven't really taken the espers off party two. I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now before I forget. Party one's still in the same spot. That's good. Actually, kind of think of it, did I really press that button to let Party 1 go further? I don't think I did. I'll have to come back to that later. But that's on my own time. Yep, that button was not pressed. I forgot about that. Yep, deal with that later. First, let's get the Espers on the appropriate people. I'd like to have Celeste with more HP, Bahamut. Cyan, you could use more strength, so Raiden. Setzer, you could use more magic, Valgarmanda. And Mog, you're alright with Gilgamesh. Actually, with Setzer right now, I'm gonna consider putting. No, not Ragnarok. Yeah, Valgarmanda was a good choice. Ragnarok, I wanna save for another boss coming up. Okay, this is the only boss that's kinda considered random, you don't expect. This is Inferno, Ketu, and Rahu. You only want to focus on Inferno and not the arms. The arms will respawn, no exceptions. What you want to do is cast Sloga, then cast Stop on each arm. That way they take a lot longer to move. And then you want to focus on only Inferno. That's where you're going to have to cast Haste to get everybody ready. Now that the arms are completely incapacitated, then the fight gets a lot easier. A lot easier. And if the arms actually get back into movement, then obviously you can just stop it again. Where's my, uh, Daga? Up oh, there it is. Of course. Not every part of this boss is weak against Thunder, though. Some, one of the arms can actually absorb it. Keep that in mind. I am going to bother with fixed dice, because it might target the arms by mistake. Therefore, I'm just going to be using magic attacks. Not to mention Science Bushido does not exactly target. There we go. Keep doing damage and you'll be fine. Probably gonna use Valor so Sion and Ma can get more damage done. Nice block, Celeste. Yeah, when all three parts are together, they will use Delta Attack, which can cause Petrify. And that's no good. Okay, let me use Asuna to bring Celeste back. There, and 
we should back to normal. Back to the fight. So if you incapacitate the arms like that, well, case in point, it just gets a lot easier. I remember having a hard time with this boss because I kept killing the arms and they would just keep coming back again and again. Not to mention that one of them has Metal Cutter and that does a lot of damage. You know, when you look at my team, when one has Hastiga and the other one has the Force Shield on, it reminds me of Christmas. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and the next part I'm going to go back to Party 2 and press the button. And then Party 3 can get back to work. See ya.